I don't really know anything about skin, I can just tell you that it. Well, I bought it off Apple because it was free. And then, how did it So, what's past this product? That's true, because product is in the past. What the hell am I? My head feels like it's going to explode. You need game shot. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll turn it on there. So I guess you can't, you just have to escape. Oh, you can do it from the top. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you just fell. That's Gekko. I can't believe I'm still alive. These fungi must have broken my food. Is this a sewer? Those things from before were simply unbelievable. Am I hallucinating again or just another one of whatever's tricks? It's simply not possible for humans to move that. Like and why would he appear here all of a sudden? Even attacking me. Like, what is going on? And what I can do is to do it. Right, my best and uncle in the food. I better fix it before he finds me there. It's unfortunate there is no people. But the cable seems to be in a good condition. In a good condition. This is like, um, Arkham, the, the TV show. Did I just see my hat run off? That fool must have died me up even more than I thought. I'm not leaving here without my hat. It's, it's like this robot took a fool to me. So there's robots there. Is this like a robot city or... Hmm. It's a clean scare away. I know I can use these valves and vents to release this thing. Yes, you can. So, um, doesn't this one go up? This one goes up. I know this one goes up. Oh, it did. I mean, I guess it was a fault or something. That's fine. Oh, okay. Looks all right. I just don't feel back with that man. Uh, workshop. A repairman so on. It is... Okay, well, unknown. I guess unknown time. Wait, did we see the day? I don't know. 
Electric number, so use it with electric electric processors. Feels like that for the wires. This fire and the river is and it seems to be about a group, a group of people who believes in the in that Bison. Who believe in Bison. That madman Noah is a believer of this Bison. To our Bison, he brings with him a birth twig, looks upon the yard of God, and brings the dust on his vivid expectation by spreading God's waves. God of reception, we seem for you our bodies are flesh as well as iron, and you will guide us into fusion. Holy people sing for our praise, God of fusion, fusion and communication, reason, reason, reason. You are, you are the king of the birds, you lead our souls, we will follow your hands and embrace the reign of God. By that time, human and robots will be fused into one being in the arms of God. This is a wrinkled fire full of fanciful praise for peace and the god of future fusion and communication in movies. So I'm guessing that um that this peace and guy can you know people follow on him in hopes that you I just bring together humans and robots or human brains inside robots. Or something to do with humans and robots. Wait, what's up? Oh, it's a, a cat. It's you. You. Oh, William. So William's a cat. How did you get? Go play some worlds. I'm not saying I need more trouble. No. Well, I guess he's here to say. This must be a maintenance station used by pipeline workers before the bridge was abandoned. I should be able to cover from my recover from my wounds if I can restore the power supply. But I can't do anything about it until I find enough to come up with What is this? Multifunction screwdriver. It can be used to dismantle machines, but it's all rusty. Go inspect the wire. The cable is severed. I'll need to replace it. And what do There's not the note. Everything's here broken. And we check the. This generator is completely dry. I need to find the generator source of the water. Wait, wait a second. Could this be a power supply? Power supply. If power supply inside this head will work, it's just what I need to find out. Fire up the generator. The wooden damage to one with this teeth. There were three empty power slots in the generator, so I need at least three power slots. Power sets. Pretty sure I saw some that was not the place where I felt. I should go there and find my little patch. Oh, there There's a fresh one in of this part the surface of which has suffered severe erosion. Scared of all the side effects. Now what mess is it? What? You want to go in there and catch some that thing? Are you sure? I'm completely reminded about the teeth. I guess you're my only option now. I need three several bad cross sacks. Remember you're not about I mean, I can't remember. So do I have the eyes in now? I I guess so. Hmm. 
inside the glitch pack man. Okay, it's 10 of 24, wait, no, 21 41. I can't even turn off the glitch pack. That's true. Did it if only three pros at the all in perfect condition too. Don't get too cocky. <laughs> you may have got any power sets, but you're also the one who's getting away to a sidewalk box in the first place. Well, let's go forward and run back. Oh let me uh see these. Sealed kitty rides. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we have to replace him with this. Yes. No. That's fat, what? Oh, it's uh, uh, one of When uh, this one goes here, and this one goes here. Wait, no, I'm done. This one goes here. This one goes here. Wait, what? Oh, I I looked at the legs. I looked at the legs. Um, so yeah, the, the legs. Let's see if it was like fully developed, fully developed. Or not. No suitable parts for beast or mission. I don't think there's anything here. Oh. Okay, well. Universal robotic and, 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 and,
a medic from a paragon I know everything is ready to go now. I just hope this one from I'm playing the episodes. Beep, beep, beep. Wakey, wakey. It's time to get up. Um, you're so noisy. What are you doing, BBS? You want me to throw you back into the fun? I need to perform a routine checkup on the mechanical parts. It's been four days overdue. Sure, whatever. Just wait for me over there and I'll come to you. Okay, let's get this thing over and done with. Scanning body. Based on the test results, the mechanical parts of your body are about to collapse. How is that even possible? Didn't I just get a new knees? There's nothing I can do about the test results. Take a look for yourself. Let's see my main first. During the apocalyptic garden incident, in order to save my life, my partner merged all of his own electronic brain with my damaged brain, altering them both drastically. According to official records, this is only the every case of a human being brain. Wait, of a human brain merging with an electronic brain. Although this procedure is completely banned, authorities found a bad item incident due to the external the ex due to the extenuating circumstances and what they said were my outstanding contributions. This incident has been kept secret from the food public. Okay. My right lung, liver, and several other internal organs were seriously damaged by an explosion during the apocalypse. Where the apocalypse guardian is done. My family organized the replacement of those damaged organs with the, with the most advanced bionic artificial organs. This technology was, is only available to the powerful and wealthy residents of Sky City. But because I'm a stubborn old horse, I refuse to go back to Sky City for regular maintenance. It doesn't help that I like a drink or two, and that messes up the accuracy of the test. Yeah, the bionic, bionic ocean was crazy. Mechanical hands complete with a great number of sens sensing devices at the tips of my fingers. The fingers can stimulate the touch and feel your fingers with great accuracy, making them capable of numerous precise operations. However, because I always forget to apply the joint or you, joints have become serious. Joints have serious wear and tear. If they remain unmaintained, increasing bad mobility or control. Bionic mechanical lower limb, which has bionic muscle tissue connecting to titanium iron bones. I recently repaired my old knee with new ones for me. With more access to repair shops, so I don't know why they are already malfunctioning again. Knees, oh no, arms. The mechanical, this mechanical arm was installed after the apocalypse card in the incident. The tunnel structure was made of titanium blue greatly improving its strength. This was the most advanced system at the time. However, just 10 years later, it would be outdated. That's early down. 10 years! I had artificial eyes encountered when I was on police force 
for the Outlaw Police Forces Special Team. My eyes have multiple few amplified functions and weapons with different identification modes. They come in handy at crimes. However, because the eyes have been serviced for a long time, many of the functions are no longer working, and even the basic night view mode is now giving me problems. You see, I didn't like you. Let me perform my overall meetings. You do realize that you haven't changed any of my parts in the, in the past two years, right? It's a miracle that I can still scan you at all. So stop making a fuss. And just where am I gonna find parts for a red attack key? The museum? I should probably donate you to the museum so they can put you on the spill. Initiating <laughs> 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 self destruct sequence. Calm down, I'm kidding. Head upstairs to the workshop and I'll give you a quick checkup. Mr. Detective Agency, uh, 10 20 20 Wait, 10 20? Wait, is this, um, the American thing? The American way? So it would be 10 so October the 20th, I think, this one. yeah, October 20th, yes. How did this work even end up then? So I feel like I didn't give it a second look back then. The trophies. So you have Rex. Um, yeah, you can read it in your own time. So, life, so you have pine fowls, a 1228 from artificial arm application. This form will foot up, witness an invasion, and certain fields such as lean are vaguely visible. This form was submitted in the end. And was left missing with random handwriting. With random writing. It could also suppose to end up in a rubbish bin for the box and this and it was like from the real and it kept to today. So I'm guessing he's like the person that you go to when um you need like new artificial parts. Okay, from here. These four plants have mutated after being, after being exposed to poisonous radioactive industrial waste. The DNA of these plants have, has been seriously influenced by the radioactive material. They grow slightly in the dark and the spore, and the spore contains trace elements of radiation too. Reversion and biosyn, that's like the, the nerve. So, the weapon population was choppy in the beginning of the 22nd century and the traditional religion religions were not able to have a place for these new members of society. New religions and God came into existence. They, they are the God of Destiny Dark, the God of Earth, Smoth, and the Goddess of Fiction and Communication Passion, Goddess of Mystery, Alunur, and the God of Sleep. The gods of rivers and open their arms to both fiends and the gods. Because of the, the conflict between early expansion and old school religions, peace, people saw it as something between the court. As word of religion spread, the number of believers increased significantly. Humans and rivers are both ignorant rivers on this land, and they can only get the right direction of life under the guidance of God. This is the reason behind the myth of Bison is one of the major gods in liberalism and she stands for fusion and communication. The believers pray for the fusion of humans and robots and believe that only fusion can dissolve disputes and the only fused body can be qualified to communicate with bison. The rumor has it that bison believers started the earliest human and robots combination experiment. And then cyborg rights to um the ones that we had to like chase down as uh, as a uh, William. 
this is a sympathetic creature with machine guns and organic parts. That be the product of an early scientific technology experiment without great adaptability to the environment and reinforced through the innovation. As a so half machine and half organic being, how they reproduce remains a mystery, although researchers agree computation would involve a lot of sparks. As a note, uh, is anyone in the new trade world? Yes, have a go. Seems like everyone is talking about Augusto's participation in the campaign. So, election. As the pioneer of robotic politicians, Augusto's reputation among robots is second to the only prophet. Wait, second only to the prophet. He even has some human supporters. Augusto advocates changing the robot situation using political means. He has been working to reach his goal since he stepped into the political world. Augustus and his political followers are quite serious about this election and they have embarked on a major campaign. I'm guessing there's like, there has to be more competitive uh, to, like, one that is only for um, robots, one that's only for humans, and one that's for like, robots and humans, and then others. An odd pitch with a sense of religious ritual. of the Iron Hours. Oh, the Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus represents the person of the God and the highest monarch and the highest monarch mo monarchy and the highest monarchical power. The ancient Egyptians were convinced that the eye that the eye of Horus was critical to achieving resurrection. This picture was bought from archaeology from the, from an. I can't I can't speak. Um, this picture was bought from an archaeological team of Abbott's grandfather, and it said that it had something to do with a mysterious feather, so it was estimated to be quite valuable. An interesting fact is that a monitoring system named the Eye of Horus is currently being built. Authorities claim that this system is built to protect the personal security of the systems and prevent crimes. Okay. Oh, so he lives in a pub in a pub. This place is haunted. What's wrong? Why why did that solve? Didn't I tell you to wait for me at the inter interchange station? I, I I think something's wrong over at that there's something over at the armor. Oh come on, you're a robot that's afraid of ghosts. Just turn the lights on. The lights are working. I think the circuit downstairs has not has malfunctioned. Isn't there anything that still works in this place? Never mind. Let's find let's find out what's going on. Workshop. It is noon. You <laughs> fucking man. So, I was only scared the the the, the vibrations, man. Mm -hmm. A single rookie that can be used to unlock the distribution box. Where the hell is that? Ahead. I'd better go no further. I need to please reset power already. I'm starting to freak out. So fine, I'll go downstairs and get the power up. Why are the circuits so messed up? I need to route it the right to connect both ports. Oh, I thought, okay. Wait, no. Wait, 
ไปนอนอย่างนั้นนอนนี่ดีคืนอะไรนี่โอ้โอ้โอเคเราอาจจะไม่ทำได้ที่ดีเลยจริงแต่สิ่งที่เราเห็นเนี่ยฮะโอเคสวีทเอสโอนเทสตอปพิมพ์สุดพารานอยด์มันไม่คุ้นสีบ้างนะฮะมันจะสังเกตุแต่ไม่ได้ observation I think I think it's okay. Oh. Listen to that sound. It's the four tier crazy, crazy, but I'm sure there's a camera on. The armor is stuck. I can't get it open. I need to figure out where to save this girl. Okay. According to the information I found in the archive, the armor is found out once belonged to an ancient knight, and his spirit is said to live on inside the armor after his death. The armor is separated from this weapon. The spell will become a gift in case of press on the map. He does. Yes, the press on the one who joined the armor. It's true. The curse is real. The weapon. I remember seeing a claymore hanging on it, but I can't remember what it was. Remember up here. Wait, what? You want this? Cabinets of pretty documents off the shelf. They can get this out. My head is so pretentious, always feigning innocence. I must find a way to get the power. Stop distracting me. Can't you help me instead? My my tongue hurts. Go save the cat first. Don't worry about me. Okay. Legendary Christ on me. Only by retrieving the first weapon can the top have been saved. Okay. It's probably in my room somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Well. Why do you keep in the bathroom room? Oh, yeah. Sharpen 200 sword which hasn't been rusted despite being stored in the bathroom. Sturdy, suitable for a crew. Suitable for use as a crew center. Okay, that's nice. Isn't that William? So you were the ghost in the armor. How did you end up there? It's the Eastern Cat. Something is not right about this armor. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Go home. I don't have any dried fish for you today. I can't. What is a history of uh, the what? Yeah, okay, yeah. William. Uh, he's a stray, he's two years old, male, and then uh, uh, and, uh, a black cat who likes to stay clean. He appeared one day at Mr. Mist's place. Mr. Mist's place and has returned to Everson for food. 
he seems to have a thing for cats with white fur. This tends to originally tend to, originally tend to fit him out, but William displayed remarkable concentration and understanding of the directions, leading him to dream that William must have received some type of special training. Now, William of a friend finds himself completing tasks or retrieving items in exchange for delicious fried fish. Delicious dried fish, not fried fish. Human robot war. With help, with help of Prophet, a large number of robots began to awaken. Panic and unease began to spread throughout humanity, and various conflict arose between these two sides. The humans wanted to use awakened robots for research purposes, and some even tried to attack them out of pure minds. In order to avoid persecution, some awakened robots assembled and tried to escape human society completely. But the situation didn't improve. Instead, these robots gathering places were found and destroyed by humans, and their resources and energy spares were cut off. The robots were forced to counterattack, escalating the conflict into a state of war. Awakened robots from all parts of the world rose up and joined the war. The war continued for several years until June of 2057, when the threat of nuclear weapon activated, activation by profit resulted in beginning of a cold war between the two sides. The truth was signed following intervention from Prophet and members of the human leadership. We finally go to the interchange station now. Uh, the armor said the armor boat at the ocean is said to have once belonged to a brave and noble knight. However, the hero was eventually betrayed by both his friends and emperor, and his body was buried along with his armor and weapon. Twenty years later, these items were mysteriously returned to the knights in time. Both the armor and weapon showed no signs of erosion, and previous battle damage had disappeared. The emperor was terrified and soon died of sickness. De- soon died of sickness. Armor was later collected by the royal family and was stored in the corner of the museum ever since. One thing is mentioned across all records don't separate the armor and the weapon. Well, I mean, uh, I'm character by head just like that, so. Rex. BBX, a uh, robot. Housekeeper, male, 110 years old. A very old robot with some legacy, with some legacy military fittings. It's difficult to find parts of this model nowadays due to its outdated design. This type of robot only functions well upon receiving detailed instructions. Seems either the processor or the decoder isn't working. I remember seeing a processor on the first floor. There are no more decoders there. But to marry possible to get one from the other house from the other from other household appliances with its dismantled into There are many books about genetic diseases on the shelf. In order to catch Noah, I have done quite a lot of research in this area. I wonder if that guy is still alive. There seems to be a processor in that box up there. I can't reach it. How did he get up there? I need to find a way to retrieve that processor. I mean... Hey little guy. Can you get that box down from the top of the bookcase? Don't give me that attitude. Have you forgotten you saved you earlier? I bet this cunning little thing just wants me to play with him. That's dreadful. 
If you help me, I'll give you some delicious dried fish. How does that sound? William doesn't seem to be interested on chicken's head slightly. What? You don't want dried fish? I thought it was your favourite. Um, I guess... I'll take you for a walk, whatever. Get me what I need and I'll take you for a walk. William seems quite keen to go outside. You want to have some fun outside, right? Because I'm done here, I'll take you for a walk. Just get that box down for me first. Okay, well, thanks. That's what. So, um, here's, <laughs> here's that dried fish we agreed on. You don't want it? Alright, I know you want to go outside. Just give me a moment to prepare. Please, PPX is 40 parts and I'll be right back. Classic smart call made by AED Company. Acquired from a second hand store. Second. I'm sure. What's this? The code reference that I designed. I used to be crazy about stuff like this. If you forget the code, ask Paul's for help. Well, okay. At least we have we have it as a file right now, right? So. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm. <laughs> the tool to dismantle the decoder should be locked in here, but I can't record code. How did I not see this? In the. Um... So. Two, two. Three seven would it be seven three two two? Which would be down I diamond diamond. But like you need an hour. N nearly an up. I guess that's the part of the washing machine. Universal digital, digital decoder, smart device compatible with a wide range of electronic equipment. Nice, the chips are fixed. Let's take the, uh, test the electronic signals. Match the frequency to the preset tape by turning the button. Also, this needs to be okay. So this is like uh, fast, medium, so Wait, I don't... Is it just me? It was... I, I don't get it. I don't see what I need to do. Oh, wait. I do. I... Wait, no. It needs to be... Green. And green and then there we go. And this one is Oh, 
Berlin dan Berlin. It's a bit too slow. Debugging is done. That should do. Let's try restarting BBX. How do you feel? Hey, what's going on? BBX? Can you still talk? Oh, you short, short circuited. Damn it, it exploded. Uh, BBX, are you still with me, buddy? Is this that BBX has activated its emergency hibernation mode? It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg to find the mechanic. I'll have to buy the parts and fix it myself. Don't worry, BBX, I'll fix you. Probably. Outside! Did he just ditch me for a female cat? He was begging for me to play with him just a minute ago. I guess girls before powers stand true, even for cats. Oh well, I need to visit the repair shop anyway. I'm not a customer. Old man, do you have any cheap decoders or processors? I'm busy in the back. The second hand stuff is all over there. Go check it out for yourself. Whoa, hold on, these prices are insane. Have you lost your mind? Calm down, I even mean, sell good stuff, and good stuff comes at a price. Even so, everything you've seen here at, is at least 30% cheaper than the market value. It's a bargain, really. And anyway, you should know that since it isn't easy to find parts for that antique robot of yours. I don't suppose you can sell them for cheaper? If money is a problem, my offer to you becomes my test subject still stands. I can compensate you with some parts. I can't believe you're still thinking about that. As I said before, there's no way that's happening. All right, then come back when you've got when you've got the cash, and in the meantime, leave me alone. Well, will you? You're back so soon. What have you got there? William brought over a piece of ripped cloth with blood on it. Whose blood is that? Are you hurt? I haven't seen you rinse it. The little guy is so anxious. Something must have happened. Since I can't do anything else with BPX right now, I should probably follow William and take a look. A dead body, been dead for a while now. Wait, I know this woman. It's Miss Perry. She's the landlord at Sofra's apartment. I need to call the police immediately. Hello, I'm calling from the Sofra apartments. There is a body lying among the among the trash in the alley. Please send someone quickly. Oh, okay. Yes. F -f Thank you. There must still be some evidence here, since there's not many people come this way. Since not many people come this way, I'd better look around before the police. Clear traces of dragon unbound, surrounded by footmarks. Judging from the footmarks, the person was thin as data. Traces of dragon on the ground. There are, clear in, there are a clear indication of dragging along the ground near the corpse, and also some footprints. This indicates the corpse, the corpse was moved. The marks on the ground continue in this direction. I should follow them. Hmm. Check the cat first. The marks lead all the way to this dumpster. Hey there, little fatty. It's time to wake up. He's sleeping too soundly. I need something to distract him. 
I guess I could, I could really, I can't read this. Um, the dragon starts from here with more trees in the bay, and, the, and these footprints all seem to belong to the same person. Looks like this person can go on for some time. First stage autops analysis. It is estimated that the death occurred more than 20 hours ago. The corpse suffered a fierce collision four hours after the death after death and was dragged here. The theft of, of the jewelry also happened at this time. Every clue you find on the case is just like a gear in a watch. Once you have found every clue and correctly combined them, the gears will mesh and you will discover the truth. Once you have collected enough clues, gears, deduce the meaning of them all here. Only once all the clues, gears, are placed in the correct spots can you solve the case. There is a new dent on the store lid, which must have been caused by a heavy object falling onto it. There is a fresh dent on the lid of the dumpster, likely the result of a heavy object falling from above. Could this dent have been made by... The investigation is almost complete. Let's see if we can reconstruct the case. At about 9pm yesterday, Miss Perry fell straight onto a dumpster from above, leaving the stand from the lid. Not long after, a thief appeared and scored around the corpse for some time. He or she hesitated but decided to get okay, well. After that, the corpse was dragged appeared to the trust part and covered in garbage bags, where the thief did not clean up the traces and marked where left behind. Judging from the time of death and the time of the theft, as well as the thief's behaviour, at the crime scene, the thief was unlikely to be the murderer. The person was probably attracted to by the sound of the fool. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Uh, he wasn't the murderer, he was like the um person to hide the body, I guess. Or like to move it closer to someone to where someone would um find it. The thief committed the theft on the impulse after seeing the valuables on the deceased. The deceased fell down from the own apartment. I may be able to find out why Miss Perry was killed if I investigate the zone that the sufferer's apartments. Wait, what are you doing? I thought you'd be putting your feet up on the new lieutenant's desk of yours. Ha, and I never would have guessed that you would be the one to report the crime. It's been a while. Well, since you're already here, a big job with Tamil, with Tamil, it sounds like you would have figured out who committed the murder by now. Care to enlighten me? Sir, the crime scene is under control. What are your instructions? Carl, come over here. I'd like you to meet the famous Rex. He was on the force too. Hmm. Where have I heard that name before? Oh yes, you were regarded as some kind of hero around the station. But personally, I'm not impressed by what I read in history books. Carl. It's okay, Wade. Don't mind him. Rex, tell us what you found. Well, first off, I actually know the deceased. She used to be friendly face, a friendly face in the neighborhood before her husband died. But as for tonight, this is what I believe happened. So I think our next call of action should be to investigate Miss, Miss, Mrs. Page's home in the sufferer's apartments. Sephora's apartments. I apologize in advance if you feel offended, but I think your reading is based on unreliable assumptions. I believe the right thing to do is to follow it at clues, like the stolen jewelry. Well, no, but that would be that's like ignoring the bigger picture because you find something small. I'm not interested in your big time detective nonsense. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to the crime scene, Carl. It's time to give me a bit sometimes. Rex, shall we find an apartment now? Who is this? Oh, uh, are you... Are you Mr. Rex? My, my, my name is Catherine and I'm a big fan of yours. Can you please give me some advice? Some advice? Well... This may not be the best time. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. 
I still need to take notes. I'll ask for your advice again later. Yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back. Who's that? Who's that? Hey, Elizabeth. Why are you here? What's that on you? Are this street cats bullying you? Poor Elizabeth. This child knows that white cat. Maybe she could tell us something. Hello, friend. What's your name? Hello, sir. My name is Alice. Okay. Do you know this cat? Of course I know her. She's the prettiest cat of the all, and Miss Perry simply adores her. Do you know which apartment Miss Perry lives in? I need to visit her. Yes, I do. She lives in number what, 303, by on my place. It must be Miss Perry's place. I'll call a professional to unlock her door. Don't bother. Let me do it. This type of lock design can withstand electrical tampering and forced entry. The only way to unlock it is to guide the signal to the target by moving the discs. The way out is to get to this, um... Okay, I think I've done it. Took long as home. So kind of go half of your twenty blocks are so bad. Why are they built like that? Still we won't put your hand in yet. I've got you covered, Rex. Move up and check out blood hair and hair had been detected on the robot so he was healed. So he was involved in some way or he drew broke down here for no obvious reason. Relax, Wade, he's in hibernation mode. This thing scared the hell out of me. I must try it. Wait, what's that on the couch? It's blood, Rex. Take a look at this. Did you say blood? There's also blood on his hands and feet of this robot. Robots are unable to harm humans. So what's with all the blood? These are dried that are dry wait. There are dried blood stains on the front and back of the couch. These blood stains appear to be an attempt to clean up blood spatter. Blood splatter. It's in this period blood and it looks like 424 hours since the blood dried up. It's likely that Miss Perry was killed at about 12 o'clock yesterday. Also judging from the trajectory of the blood splash, it was an upward strike with its brain starting at a low angle. Let's assume that this is the primary crime scene. I'll organize all the information we have so far. Meanwhile, let me know if you find something else. <sighs> Alright. Looks like Miss Perry had visited her before she died. Let's see what other information we can find. Your fingerprints and lip marks from Miss Perry are on one of the cops. Of a cops has marks left by a child. We need to find out who this is. There should be a matching candlestick, and this is most likely the murder weapon. Although the pattern on the floor the, on the bottom of the candlestick is similar to the shape of the with fatal wound, there's no trace of blood here. The murder weapon must be another matching candlestick. It's not here at the crime scene, so we can't confirm the murder. So we can't confirm that right now.
Oh, four two one three. Wait no, four two one four. I don't really understand why, but okay. Miss Pose gift for Jenny's birthday beautifully wrapped. A special bond key for her diary. I was feeling a bit upset when I saw you off at the door. The same robots are becoming more determined lately, so the government is getting tough and stricter and the parade might be stopped. But you told me that you told me the robots actions are justified as those with consciousness is and knowledge deserve more than being treated as simple machines. That that doesn't make sense. That they should be given the same rights as a human being. You hugged me and left. I almost called your name to make you stay. But I know I should support your decision. I was waiting for you with lunch ready, but the police came instead. My world became dark when they asked me to identify your body. As soon as I saw you in the mosque, I knew it was you even through your hair. Even though your hair, your face and clothes were all covered in blood. I wish I was wrong. My love, my world, I can't believe you were murdered by the record and part of the machines. I will never forgive what they have done. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. So let's look at the days around the death. I should see the first because I will kind of sell for the month. So rent, rent, feed, feed, okay. 18th, you're feeding, cooking. Um, dried fish feeding them. Um, uh, uh, thing was to the end of our uh, children, ch ch child, I don't know. Uh, uh cats. Feed and cute and Just like Miss Perry's hatred for hatred for robots didn't extend to electronic appliances according to her schedule. She only had wait the only guest she had yesterday was a little girl named Jenny. Fridge. Miss Perry entertained her little guest in the living room with fruit tea and the two of them seemed to have had an argument for some reason. The guest dropped Miss Perry the kind of stick matching the one I found. The strike didn't kill Miss Perry immediately but immobilized her. She died sometime afterwards. The robot entered the crime scene and dumped the body. The robot stopped watching that, working after that and stayed there for an unknown reason. stick that was the murder weapon was taken away from the crime scene and it is highly likely that the murderer has destroyed it. I'll have to let the police investigate this further. Crime scene investigation is almost complete. I wonder if the little guest was Jenny. I need to tell where to bring on questioning. There's something suspicious about the report too. I need Void's authorization to carry out an internal court investigation. I just guessed that. <laughs> what the? There's an implanted device. What's going on? Did the servant do it? This is the robot's memory. Why didn't he save Miss Perry's life? That's already a violation of robot principles. My head. That's so bad. Hey, relax. Hey, Rex. Rex, what's going on? Rex. 
What's wrong, Webs? You don't know you were in a lot of pain. Just now. I, I don't I don't know. I think there's something wrong with this robot. There's some kind of device implanted in his brain. We'll talk about that later. The new special mission squad is taking over this case. So we need to cease our investigations. What? The SMS? What the hell is going on? We found out that this Jenny is the daughter of an important man. Lucina had retrieved her file, then the order to transfer the jurisdiction of the investigation came in. And they had already arrived too. This thing is now under our control. Leave now and stay out of our investigation. Well, I mean, they ba we basically we, we fucked it. Like, they, they, they fucked us. Like, they're, they're not gonna find anything. Obviously, they're not gonna, they, they're gonna try and protect her door, isn't it? He's gonna try to protect the door, and then we're not gonna be able to find anything. And, and. Inspector Wade, it's quite surprising that you're taking a private detective to assist with your investigation. Let's find the crime scene so we ask them to help, to help us with the invest to help with the investigation as well. You just ask them to help. Is that standard police procedure? And I've heard you decided to make our Miss Jenny a suspect. Jenny, can you tell me about what happened can you tell me what happened yesterday? I was at Alice's tea party and went home when it was over. We found your fingerprints on the tea set. You were, you were Miss Pe you were Miss Penny's, Pe you were Miss Perry's guests. I, I was just visiting Miss Perry like I had promised. I didn't stay for long, and I have no idea what happened there. I've accessed the memories of the robot and know that both you and the robot were there when Miss Perry lay injured and immobilized on the couch. The stroke went crazy and attacked Miss Perry. I I, I ran away I I ran away because I was scared. I'm afraid that's not possible. Judging from the trajectory of the blood splash, the strike came from below. The web dread was so tall that it would need to crouch down in a web in a red posture to deliver a strike that matches the evidence. A lack of force Behind the blue also makes it unlikely that the assailant was a robot. All signs indicate that the wound was inflicted by something far weaker. A child, for example. That's right. Miss, you don't need to answer these questions. We'll find a professional to record a proper testimony later. Detective, you access the robot menu without authorization. I cannot pretend I didn't hear that. I don't think you found your so-called murder weapon yet either. Oh, William, sir. Hey, you came to save, the, came to save today. Where what, what is this? Is that the? This is simply. Well, now that we have the alleged murder weapon, all we need to do is match the blood and fingerprints to reveal the truth. Well, that's our job. Please leave immediately. Well... Inspector Wood, do I have to have a chat with your superiors? That would be necessary. We were just about to leave. Wait a minute, I have something for Jerry. J J Jerry? Jenny, not Jerry. Didn't you say you had something for Miss Jenny? Okay, yeah, fine. Oh yeah, the gift. Jenny, Miss Perry wanted to give you this. Give you this. Is this for me? Is this? Dear Jenny, you are such a kind and loving girl. The way you always drop in to visit me. Today is your birthday and you, you are about to become a young adult. I know you like little Elizabeth very much. So I have decided she is going to be your birthday present. I know you will be good to her because you are such a loving child. I have also made a nameplate for her color which has been engraved with your name. Starting today, Elizabeth is yours. I hope that you will grow up happily and that I will always be there to serve your favorite cakes or fruit teas when you want them. Your grandma Perry. What? How could this be? I didn't want to harm her. Crying. 
Miss Perry, I'm so sorry. It was that robot. Jenny, I bought that robot. Can you tell? Enough. Inspector Wood, we get this permission out of this person out of here. Should I've never been in the first place. I hate this guy already. Wait, I believe there's something unusual about that robot. If we give up now, we'll lose critical evidence. I'm sorry, but you know that after the specials take over my hands are tied. The SMS is such a pain. Now I'm no longer on the inner circle. Can you give me a picture of that implanted face? I didn't have a chance to take one just then. It won't be easy, but I'll try. You were acting a little unusual just then. Did something happen? Well, I'm not quite sure either. But now that I think now that yeah, now that I think about it, maybe something on that web affected me. I see. Seems like there's more than this the eye here. But let's talk about that later tonight. There's a good bar I know. Alright. I need to ask someone about the implanted device first. I need to head back to the station now. I'll send you the, the address of the bar I mentioned. Okay, see you there. Well done, William. How did you find that middle weapon? Seems like he had quite an adventure. Two hours ago. Elizabeth. Are you saying it was you who took the kind of stick away, Meow? Yes. I couldn't get Jenny hit Miss Perry with that thing again. So I grabbed it and ran away. Good thinking. But it's a very important piece of evidence. Could prove who the murderer is. So we have to get it to Vex, Meow. Yes, but I lost it. He starts crying. Calm down, Elizabeth. It's okay. What happened? I was just scared after I jumped off Miss Perry's window, so I just started running and then all of a sudden I was in the middle of the Biocats territory. Then, then... I it's, it's all my fault. Hmm. The pirate cat's territory. In this billboard. I think I know where that is. Really? That's great. Elizabeth, time is of the of the, time is of the essence. So I need to find a murder weapon now. Rest up and wait for me. But yeah, okay, I'm ready. Where is my profession? Fuck. This is two minutes. Ah. Artist. Next question. What's the boss's favorite quote? Each guy has their own destiny. Correct, he has. I have my own. I have my, I have my own destiny too, and that is to be a famous artist. Okay. Next question. What is the name of our white our rival family? The Fitch family. I didn't see. I'm pretty sure that would. Oh, she was such it. Okay, nice. Well, now I can do that. Great Z. Hold it right there. Uji Odyssey is a. 
Is this the god that you want me to? Or do I right there? Who do you think you are just what is doing like that? It's okay, Bratzy. Go vigilant. There's mostly our little friend here. Sorry, boss. I was just worried that there's no need for concern. In fact, he might have arrived at precisely the right time. The Bourbon family could use the cat like him. But he's not part of the Bourbon family, though. He's not a stray. Oh. Okay, so he's not ignorant about us because we're the other family. You must be William. I've heard about you. Most honourable Don Vito, be permitted to enter the Bycast Hotel. You know how to respect your elders. This virtue is rare among the younger generations. This is a time time for our family and its territory. So I have declared a state of martial law. No cat may pass another way. No cat may pass other than the cats of our family. The good news for you, for you is that I require some assistance for a very important task. If you agree to do it for me, you have my blessing to travel as you please. Well, I mean, I don't really have a choice. I can't say I don't have much time because that would kind of piss the cat off. The Godfather has given me an offer I, can, I can't refuse. Each cat has their own destiny. Now that you are here, make the most of it. Well, Don Vito, what can I do for you? A bio cat has infiltrated our family and leaked information about our family to our enemies. I need you to root him out for me. Do you have any suspects? Hmm. <clears throat> Speaking to my counselor, Martin, about the details, knows all about these bio cats. Alright, I got it. It looks like you should get some rest. Report him whenever you find any clues. You can trust him fully on the matter. Oh! That's so one of the final members of the family is addicted to bait the catnip. You usually find them taking them up in the safe box. Poorly, the leader of the servant team likes to imitate human ninjas and the movement, always trying to disguise or conceal himself. There is one more aspect I need never redeem back to him. It's one of, one of the most trusted members of the family, the boss's right hand man, Brad C. I don't know Brad C would, Brad C would be a suspect. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I guess we can go out there. Yes, now all we need to do is uh, fry it. We're well, not fry it, um, bacon. Old pen magazine with detailed information about the first generation bikers, their strengths and weaknesses. Looks like I need to find tin for your product. I have no idea what that is. What is this? Turn for your device as remove electric pipes. Nice. Well, now I need some test objects. I don't think Polly will be one. Did the boss send you here? Yes. I'm just here to run a test. Relax. I have to. I swear, no, would it be better? I'm trying to think if it would be better to test Brad C first because he's the boss's. Like, he's in front of the boss. No, 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 no. No, let me test Brad C first. I might as well test her. Hmm. 
Alright, so I'm thinking it is Bryson. Unless it is, um... Uh, the... The big guy, and that's probably why he's... He's hiding. Okay, leave me alone. I need to run a quick test on you, just relax and tell me how you feel. When you see this. Don't you trick me. Yes. Let's begin the test. PC code of the unicorn. Just in the bus. I guess. I guess I can't. I don't think. I don't think any of them are the bad cat. Yep. So it has to be the bus. Well, we'll put this one first. Yep. Because if the boss knows that, then obviously he's gonna try one. And I wasn't gonna touch him because he's the boss. And you yeah, haven't completed the boss's task, I can't go. So. Oh, you have to go Martin. Because that spike is a uh, boss's thing. Mm. Did my test yield any results? Yes. Something unexpected happened, which is why I came to talk to you first. Oh? According to the information I found, first generation biocats are extremely obsessed with tinfoil. So I used that to test the subject to suspects. None of the three targets reacted to it. However, when I was testing Bradsey, the boss react the boss acted strangely. Are you saying that well, you've done well, William, but we better keep this to ourselves. You have completed your tasks, so I expect to let you expect to let you see. Wild cats are rather agitated lately. You must be on your guard. Oh. Well, um, the I can make the wild cats come to our territory, so. Say about that. I kind of stick with a lot of blood stains. This must be the lethal weapon from Miss Perry's murder case. Is Miss and Murder weapon the reverse spell call? I have to take it back as soon as possible. I do. Oh, okay. Well, well, so someone had an adventure. It's too bad that I can't understand you. Either way, I need to thank you for retrieving the murder weapon. Have some dried fish. It's getting late and I still need to ask the old man in the repair shop about the implant device and take a taxi to the bar. Well, I guess uh, William's just. We're gonna see William again. Somewhere. And it's cruised. I can't think of anyone other than Morax who would know about the, that implant device. I think it's time to meet you at the bar now, you know. Well, I mean, it did say you need a taxi to the bar, so. And I've really explored everything I need to. Damn. 
Mann, das Nest heißen. Da ist ein bisschen nicht in der Schlange. Der Video muss aber der Last Man of the Stewart. Can you manage to break through the confines of the few principles? The last time this happened is a revolution of the car and the people left in the stew. What concerns me more is that strange in front of us. I haven't had a hallucination since the apocalypse of God in the apocalypse God in this world. I thought I'd rid myself of that nightmare for good. I never imagined it would emerge once again. The invasive voices and the friendly women drove me insane and I was completely unable to escape from it. I never want to experience that lack of confidence. Perhaps this implant is left as an opportunity for me to get myself out of this disease forever. I wonder what the world was able to get to get the foot of the device. I could really do it and do it. Wait, there you are. What took you so long? Maybe you shouldn't choose a place so far away in the sun. What? The fantasy jellyfish? Crazy name, great atmosphere. It's far for sure, but it's also a good place for a private chat. The day case is that you to be suppressed by the new special mission squad. I'm still working again, I thought you wanted. In the meantime, why don't you tell Why don't you tell me what's so important about that robot? Well, do you still remember how my body began acting red since the incident at A003 Apocalypse Garden? The gift that my old partner Abel left me? Of course, in order to save you, Abel tried to sacrifice himself. With, the le with that level of mechanical transplantation, obviously there would be some serious there would be some serious complications. I can't speak. Um, it was around that time when doctors identified mechanical augmentation as the cause of physical rejection epidemic, or the physical rejection epidemic, and then it suddenly disappeared. So you all assumed. Back then, my brain would automatically receive the thoughts and memories of the robots around me. Every day was like given in purgatory to me. But after a while, I studied the What happened then? Myths and my memories from that time are very vague. Illusions and reality is created by bad. But that hasn't happened for years. When I, when I touched the core of that robot today, I had a similar reaction, a visual hallucination. This time I need to fix it once and for all. My intuition told me that the problem lies within the device implanted on the robot screen. I need to dig deeper. See, I'll get that footage as soon as I can. You need to be careful when there's more to this than me, sir. I'm drinking too quickly. I need to go to the bathroom. You look like you're in trouble. Better hold. Where's the where's the bath? This is bath in it. Yeah. Well, yeah, let me wash my hands. Please wash your hands after the toilet. Excuse me, sir. My name is Brandon, and I couldn't help but eat rotten just now. Could I have a moment of your time? Yeah, okay. What was it? Thanks. I don't know what to do anymore. Actually, my friend... My friend had been missing for several days. I called the police, but because the call was autom automated and because I live in the underbridge district, I don't think anyone paid much much attention to me. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Who was that famous detective, right? I'm sure you can help if I'm sure you can find her. I'll pay you. Huh? You know what? Let me my, give you my contact info first. Send me the details of the missing person and I'll take a look. Okay, I'll message you right away. Thank you so much. Don't thank me yet. I haven't promised anything. Many thanks, Detective. What's the information about? Info. Uh, someone just drunk on the bar. What took you so long? Well, I would tell back. Hey, so we're gonna meet tonight. Drink as much as you like. I like the sound of that. Huh? Are you sure you've got enough booze in this drink? You know, race is an alcohol is an alcoholic, right? One goes home super tonight. Nice, chapter two. 